This is Burnett Heads and we stop here because there's a free electric vehicle charger in the town and just around the corner from the electric charger is a cafe called Kelly's by the Sea. We came to Bagara on our way home from our trip to Airlie Beach last year but we didn't stop overnight. So this time we're staying for a couple of nights so that we can visit the Turtle Centre at Mon Repo and watch the turtles hatch and make their way down the beach to the ocean. This is Elliot Heads and it's located at the mouth of the Elliot River. It offers both surf and beach swimming as well as the calmer waters of the river mouth and is a really popular destination and not far from Bagara. Bagara is a great little spot for a weekend getaway. It's got some lovely little cafes and restaurants and it's got an awesome bike and walking path that goes all the way along the coastline. So today we're doing something that we've never done before but I've always wanted to do. We're at Mon Repo and we're here to see the turtle hatching. So I really hope we see some turtles tonight. Come with us.
I'm so disappointed that this is closed. This is like my dream Queensland house. Have a look, isn't it beautiful? I would love a fountain like that in my garden. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, it's a very historic house built in 1890. We're in the town of Howard and Howard is not far outside of Bundaberg and we knew that it had this historic old house and we wanted to come in and have like Devonshire tea, have a little walk around, but it, unfortunately it's closed at the moment. So win some, lose some. We had such a nice weekend in Bagara. We did, it's beautiful. It yeah, was yeah. fantastic. And seeing those turtles at Mon Repo last yeah, night was, it was fantastic. Amazing. It's something I never thought I'd experience, but it was amazing. Yeah, yeah it's it something really that it would be great if everybody got to experience that once in their life. Yeah, I'll say. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and it was so well organised. We couldn't take a lot of photography. No, because it's too dark. Yeah. It's, it's really dark, and they need people to not take yeah. photos, don't yeah, they? Yeah, you can't have flash. They, they'll allow you for a <laughs> short period where you can use um, your camera. When they walk around, they actually yeah. take two of the hatchlings and they walk around the ranger and they show you. But for the rest of it, when they're running down to the beach, which is like the most exciting part, <laughs> you can't put your light on because the little hatchlings are attracted to light and that will throw off their, their little magnetic yeah. field <laughs> that tells them to follow the light like the moonlight into the water. Into the water. Yeah, and, it's very and the horizon. That's yeah. right, because it's very important, we were told last night, that's how they work out like their GPS, because they'll come back, the ones that survive, in 30 years time to breed. Yeah, that's incredible, Or to lay their it? eggs, yeah. Yeah, to lay yeah. their eggs. So yeah. they always come back to where they were born. Yeah. But now, they said that they would be swimming madly for the next three days, yeah. like swimming away. Yep trying to survive and yep. without stopping for three yep. days uh, and they can live off the yolk from the egg shell that they were born in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, for that time. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. Chickens are a bit like that, aren't they? Chickens they are. can live off their egg shell for a couple of days. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then didn't they say they end up in South America or somewhere? Well, they can, yeah. They go up yeah. and they end up going over to watch Chile and yeah. <laughs> places like that and there yeah, and they swim all that way around the, the Pacific Ocean yeah. and eventually come back to here. Yeah, it's incredible. Yeah. So we really hope you enjoyed this video yeah. and we'll see you next week. Okay, see ya. Bye.